Hey everybody, Jed Johnson here at DieselCrew.com and what I'm going to do right now is give you a quick demonstration of what the Sledgehammer event will look like at the NAGS Championship 2016 on June 4th, I believe. Um, what we're going to be doing is using 6 and 8 pound sledgehammers and we're going to be doing the Supination Pronation, also called in and out lever, uh, on the floor. So what I've got here is a box, a grid that's approximately 10 inches thick and I've only covered the distance of one mat but what we're going to do at the contest is it's actually going to be about 64 inches uh, of distance okay but this is just a scale model I'm not warmed up or anything uh, so right now I just have a I believe this is a six pound sledge head on a much shorter handle all right but this is what we're going to look at for the event <clears throat> So you're going to have a time limit of, I believe we said 60 seconds. It could be 90, but I believe it's 60 that we discussed. Uh, either way, the time limit will be the same for everybody. But you're going to start somewhere in the center, and your grip is to be at the end of the handle. So none of this. I don't want to see any of the handle jutting out of the bottom of the hand. All right, so train it like this. And then you're going to rotate back and forth. Boom. Boom, throughout the 90 second or throughout the time limit period. You can switch hands as needed. You can go back and forth between, between right and left. Now here's the quality spec that we're looking for. When you rotate this thing over, the head has to fall within this box. Okay, so you can see a part of the head landed inside of this box, so you're good. However, if you rotate it, and then it falls short, boom. That's not going to count. You don't get credit for that repetition. Okay? So then you would have to start back and get back in here. All right? And then you would be back on track. That's what you want. Okay? So the head doesn't have to be completely inside the box at the beginning or at the end. It can fall out a little bit, but with a 10 inch area, we think that's more than enough of a guideline for you to be able to get the sledgehammer head inside of the box. All right. Um, if anything were to happen where you got off center and it landed like this, that's going to be the judge's call. So would it have landed inside of that area? That's going to be a, a, a tough call. So if the judge thinks not, you know, you've got to make sure that you're inside of the box. All right. So this is something that you want to start training now, guys. This is not something that you want to wait until two weeks before the event in order to add into your training. Make sure that you're training this now so that you get used to this movement because a lot of people at Gripness, people say this is a, a cool thing in the, in the medley, but a lot of people at Gripness do not complete this event and most of them end up reporting that they don't train it either. So, Make sure that you're training this. You can start out with something with a short handle just like this. You can start out with something like a broom handle with weight on it or something along those lines or even a, a shot loadable mace or hammer or whatever you have. But get used to this movement pattern because this is pretty demanding. All right. But I think this is going to be probably the most exciting event at Nationals this year next to the medley because it's going to be just balls to the walls intensity the whole entire time. I'm, I'm really pumped about this event. It's not an optimal event for me by any means, but uh, came up with the idea, ran it past Andrew, and he liked it. So that's what it's going to be. I have not been training this, um, so it's not like this is an advantage for me or anything like that. This is just something that was listed as a possible event in a, in a recent thread on the grip board. So we went with it. Uh, any questions, please feel free to leave a comment here, or you can contact me through the grip board or through my email, which is jedd.diesel at gmail.com. Happy to discuss it with you, Facebook, whatever. Um, pretty much the only thing I don't discuss uh, through is the message board on YouTube because it never works for me. And... Uh, you know, the other ways are just so much more reliable. So please feel free to ask any questions that you have. And looking forward to seeing everybody at Nationals. 
uh, June 4th, 2016, Worcester, Ohio at Durney Ass Strength. All the best in your training, everybody. Take care.